in the summer months, students can lose months of academic growth, leaving your child to play catch up in the fall. Or they can use the summer to jump ahead and get a good jump start and on the fall on the right foot. Jenna James joins us now with how the whole family can get involved in summer brain gain, Jenna. Yeah, Dave Therese, we don't want anyone in the family to feel left out or like maybe they're doing more work than one of their siblings. So this is an easy way to try to get everyone involved in an activity that they're going to love because who doesn't love mixing food into an activity, right? So simple way to do this is start with the youngest child. Have them pick a color, let's say brown in this case, and think of a food that you can make with this color. So we're going to try pancakes. Then have the middle child come up with an ingredient list and have them come up with the budget. Then they're the ones that have to go shopping, add in some coupons to really make it a little bit more math for them and make sure that they stick to that budget. Then finally, once you come to the high school kids or those who are older who are able to work the stove safely, they're the ones who have to do all the measuring. By doing this, you're really going to get kids actively engaged in what they're doing. You're working on measurements, you're working on cups, you're working on tablespoons, you're working on conversions, and also you're working on adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, so that what happens is you're starting to use those math skills in real life application type activities. And that's when kids really start to appreciate that what they're learning on paper actually does translate to real life. So Dave Sarese, you can remind them of that in a variety of activities as they go throughout their education. They're going to be far more likely to enjoy what they're learning and then retain that information as well. Mm -hmm. And I like the idea of mixing it up, adding just a simple recipe to the equation. And you could throw some fun things into the recipe, too. It doesn't just have to be plain pancakes. <laughs> right. Jenna, the kids will appreciate that. Jenna Jane, good morning live this morning, Jenna. Thank you. And, of course, the teachers say if you can't do anything like that or if you're at work, just simply reading a book, yes. 15 to 20 minutes a day, it's the best thing you can do. That's all you need to do, read mm -hmm. a book. Makes Absolutely. sense.